No, oh, I guess Joel's not here. But of course, Hastings was the one that gave me the mission in the first place, so... Ooh, nice! Hastings himself has ranked me up to rank 8. Nice! So, what do I get for uh, ranking up? I can now use Ice Pokey Assist. That's pretty sweet. Oh! Joel! Haha! <laughs> I was wondering about you. We've gotten reliable intelligence. The Gorok Squad's hideout seems to be located somewhere in the Sakura Range. Spencer has remained in Windtown to keep gathering intelligence. Ah, okay. Hmm, by the sounds of it, that could be where I'm going to be headed off to next. Yep, and I've just been recently been ranked up to uh, rank 8, so... I'll be more than happy to travel to Windtown and uh, lend Spencer a hand. Yeah, that's the problem. Can't use the Dragonite bus because I've never been to Windtown before. I remember Cameron mentioning something interesting about an underwater underwater tunnel in the Safra Sea. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Cameron actually might be of use because, well, he did give me a present <laughs> a couple of uh, videos ago. Of what looked like junk, but it is actually a submersible. So maybe, maybe that's what we're gonna do next. Take the Dragonite bus to see Cameron in Summerland. Speak to Cameron. Uh, talk about uh, underwater storm. No time to waste. Chop chop. All right, all right. Calm down, Hastings. <laughs> right. Where's my Dragonite friend? There he is, Dragonite. Yes, I want to go to Summerland. I am indeed ready to fly. Take me to Summerland. Because I can't get enough of that sun. Nice. Hey, Cameron. Hmm, that's actually interesting to know. The tunnel ends close to a cavern that will put you right by Windtown. Pretty sweet. There's just one problem. It's difficult to swim there. Actually, it's impossible. What should we do? Yes, that's exactly what I said before. Yeah. That heap of scrap metal, which actually is uh, a submersible. That'd be the submersible aqua mole. My well, mechanic's been banging away on it ever since, so maybe it's seaworthy by now. Aha! Speaking of uh, mechanics, here he is. There's something I need. Oh. <laughs> you got an itch on your back that you can't scratch. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. Uh, you get some tailor to, to deliver some submarine parts. They started racing and it seems as if they dropped a set of parts in the jungle. Oh. They're key parts too. Oh, yeah, very funny there, Cameron. You'll help find a set of parts? Yeah, of course I will. Yeah, well, uh, well this will be my third time, I think, in the uh, the olive jungle now, so... I'm becoming a bit of a regular there. Right, come on, Mr. Mechanic. Let's go into the jungle and... recover the parts. Find the Aquamole's parts. Okay, so not an official mission. I didn't think it would be. The set of parts was dropped way in the west end of the jungle. Ah, oh, that's fine. Just follow me. Oh, a surprise Wormpool. Oh. Huh? I I'm out of here. Oh, God. I thought I was being followed by a mechanic and not Misty. <laughs> I just can't stand bug group Pokemon. Oh, come on now. Are you Misty in disguise? <laughs> if one touches me, I'll be off and running like a cartoon character and I'll likely end up back here. Oh, great. Are you serious? Uh, 
let's see. So I need to go into the west end of the forest. We'll capture this Trico, why not? Oh, wait a minute, the west end of the forest. That's where, um, accident Lego, that's what that was. I bet that's where that Snorlax was uh, sleeping. Like, blocking the way. I bet that's where we have to go. Because not even uh, a plus or a minor using uh, Snorlax's stomach as a um, trampoline is going to work. Okay, so I'm guessing as long as I don't get anywhere near the bug Pokemon, the mechanic won't run off. You know what? I'm going to save it every opportunity because if the mechanic is going to be... Uh, it's going to be a, a problem with this, then uh, this could get annoying. Anyway, Electrike. I'm going to capture you just in case I need some of your uh, electricity. There we go. Capture complete. So let's go. This is where the Snorlax... Yeah, the Snorlax is gone. Okay. Right, what have we got? We've got a beauty fly there, so I'm guessing the mechanic will still freak out. What if I actually initiated the capture? As long as I initiate the capture, does that mean he will run away? Uh, that's a yes. Okay, so it looks like I can't get anywhere near the bug Pokemon. That is going to be annoying. As I fear it would be. And if it's going to take me all the way to the beginning, then that's just really annoying. I just hope... I just I just hope this part of the jungle is not too big, because if I, if I get jumped on by a bug Pokemon, then it could get seriously annoying. Oh my god, so many bug Pokemon. So many of them. Let's just casually walk past them. Slowly does it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, 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 uh. God, that thing's fast. You know, I think I could do this mission by myself, you know. I mean, what, what is there to look for? Just some, uh, just something that does, that looks like it doesn't belong in a jungle. Because, seriously, mechanic. I, I appreciate you have a fear of bugs, but please, I'd rather have someone who's not going to be like Misty and run away at the sight of every bug Pokemon ever. Okay. Uh, I appreciate it if you move Ariados up there. Thank you very much. Uh oh. Backing away. Okay, you stay that way. Great. And quickly up the vines. Okay, there we go. What's over here? Anything of interest? Well, there is a way that way, although... Now let's climb these vines first. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, let's save it, because I'm hoping... Well, well, I'm, well. first of all, I'm hoping that if the mechanic freaks out, he just, he'll just go to this save machine. But if not, then I might just be tempted to... Uh, you know, <laughs> just restart the game. Oh, that was rude of you. Oops. Just kicked a, a magic up in the pool. Oh, God. And if it's anything like um, what happens when you uh, anger a magic up, like James did in. Uh, what was that episode called? Battle, Battle Aboard the Saint Anne? That really old episode of Pokemon. <laughs> It will probably evolve into a Gyarados, no doubt. Sure enough, it has. <laughs> yeah, I'll calm it down. Fortunately, I i was going to say I dealt with Gyarados, but I just avoided its attack in the jungle relic, so I haven't... Anyway, these magic half are going to get annoying. What? Two loops? Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, so that's one. Let's just get rid of the magic art because they are going to get annoying. Oops. There we go, that's another one. Okay, that's the magic art gone. 
Whoa, that was a weird animation. Right, so quite a few loops. Oh. That was not a nice way of me uh, like moving my style of that. Oh, no. I was like, I was like spinning the, the capture line in the opposite direction as I normally was. That was really weird. I couldn't uh, control it properly there. Oh. Wow, that's weird. Okay. If you can get near the center, that would be great. I'm going to use Minen to shock you. And of course, I completely screw it up. That's weird. Why is Gyarados really isn't attacking that much? All right. I can't afford to do some. I can't afford to do stupid things anymore. Anyway, I just want to refill my partner gauge to at least a free bar. Gonna still attack? No, you're not. Whoa! Actually, let me just try and do it normally. Ah, uh, that's almost in the way. Oh my god! The capture line! The capture line failed me! Except I still managed to capture it like that. I'm totally fine by that. Usually it's good to take your time, but then you accidentally discover that it might be better just to do it fast, <laughs> like that. Okay, so... Really? I I'd never caught a Magikarp? Huh. Well, there we go. Well, at least the Gyarados has uh, been calmed down. <laughs> that loop 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 yank thing, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, grab the parts before uh, Gyarados gets angry again. <laughs> Don't worry, I think uh, they've calmed down. And there we go, our little task is complete. Not too difficult. So you're going to finish off uh, building the Aqua Mole. I was kind of hoping I'd explore a bit more of the uh, the jungle because I noticed there was a there was another way somewhere to see so I might briefly go back there just to see what's down there and we're back in Summerland Ranger base so here's my next mission okay your mission is to take the Aquamol to Windtown the leader there is a lady named uh, Elita, I think that's... I don't know. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but hey, it's my Let's Play. I'll pronounce names how I want to pronounce them. <laughs> okay. And I've assigned, been assigned a mission. Just go to Windtown in the Aquamole. Well, sounds easy. Hey, here's the mechanic. Well, I guess I'm going to have to check out that area in uh, the jungle another time. Or maybe not, because I think, uh, if I recall correctly, I think there was like a little area that I wanted to check out in the sewers of Fall City. Not the sewers, the, the waterworks. <laughs> and I still haven't got round to that. Maybe I'll spend some time checking out some places that I've not fully explored yet, but I'm not too bothered if I don't get around to that. Oh, sorry, I'm just overjoyed. Your Aqua Mole's ready for a dip. We're ready to launch any time at, at the end of the centre pier. Ah, so that's what's um, supposed to be at the uh, the centre pier. Because all this time it's been just nothing. Oh, check it out! The Acro Moles resurrected. Man, looking at it now, you, you it's hard to believe that not too long ago it just looked like a scrap bunch of metal. I tell you what. You may be afraid of bugs, but damn, you're one hell of a good mechanic. You program the autopilot. Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, that's cool. Come on, mining. 
it's time to go on an underwater adventure. Aquamole to the North, Mission 8. <laughs> and I think I'm already near Windtown, by the looks of it. Uh, let's read the message. I was trying to read what was on the top screen, but let's read this message from Cameron. Well, that was an interesting uh, voyage. Go through the Panola Cave and head for Windtown. Oh, hmm. Well, you know what? That's not too much of a problem. As soon as we get to Windtown, at least I'll be able to take the Dragonite bus back to whichever ranger base. So that's not... Yeah, <laughs> that's very klutzy of him. But it's not a big deal. Once I get to Windtown's ranger base, I'll be able to freely go to any of the ranger bases on the Dragonite. So no problem. This lake's water is salty. It is not recommended for cooking. Oh. Well, I suppose that makes sense, considering uh, that was an underwater tunnel lead uh, linking the, uh, to, the, to the ocean. That's a lake! How did you bring that weird boat here? Huh? This lake is connected to the sea outside, you say? No wonder the fishing is so good. Yeah, look at all these magic art. Oh, who are you? I'm Chris, follow me. Okay. Do I want to save? Well, a save machine is right here, so why not? Well, we've been enjoying our time in the sun quite a lot, but things, by the looks, things are going to get a lot chillier now. So, who is this person? Wait a second. I just realised something. Oh no, maybe not. I thought I, I thought this ledge looked similar, but um, it's not. I thought that was the ledge like near the Crocker Tunnel, but um, like how can it be? <laughs> it looked weird. It looked very similar where uh, that fisherman with all his magic art were. Maybe it is. Ah, huh, never thought of that. Enjoy the passionate dancing of Jinx on these naturally formed stages. Huh, how about that? Uh, actually, let me just check the map. Whereabouts are we? In fact, let me just temporarily switch screens so we can see... Did I just select the right one? Yes, I did. There we go. Let's have a look. So, there we are. It says Ringtown there. There's the... Oh, maybe we are. Maybe, maybe it is the same location. I'm just looking where we are on the map. Because we're right below the dot where the Crocker Tunnel is, I think. I think that's where the Crocker Tunnel is. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So maybe that is the same place. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just noticing random things all of a sudden, so let's just get on with it. Alright, so let's see what we've got around here. Hey, a Raichu! I like Raichu. Hey, look, this is the Jinx. Oh, it's trying to give me the lovely kiss there. No thanks, Jinx. You're quite alright. It's a wild Snorunt. Snorunt? What kind of attacks do you do? Or are you one of those that run away? Ooh, okay. You do attack. And of course, I let go too early this time. What? How dare you run into my line? There we go. Hey, on the plus, at least my partner gauge is up to uh, maximum now. And Snow Runt has been registered to the browser. Okay, we've got a gold bat. Have I caught you yet? I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume I have, considering I recently... Uh, went against a crowbat. But then again, I am talking a little nonsense, because apparently I have not caught a gold bat before. <laughs> Jinx. Ooh, blowing kisses everywhere. There's a Pikachu down there. Oh, Chris. It's Chris again. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, lots of tremors lately. Oh, is that why you want me to uh, go through here quickly? Okay, another one of them. Don't really need. Wait a minute, there is something this way. Ooh. 
Medicham. I've not caught you. Well, you take quite a few loops, okay. Ah, but that wasn't too difficult. Okay, weirdly you were easier to capture than the snow runt. Which is weird, but whatever. Oh no, we can't go that way, and I can't select it either, so I guess I can't use any Pokemon uh, field moves to uh, get rid of that. Well, might as well just go this way then.